This is Guy Average Joe. He is a regular guy just like you and me. But Guy doesn't realize that his identity is one of his greatest assets and that he needs his identity to conduct some of his most important transactions, such as opening a bank account, getting a job, buying a car, or seeking medical treatment. Most people are like Guy and don't realize the true value of their identity until after it has been compromised. Identity crime is one of the most common crimes in Australia. Each year, around 5% of the population lose money because of identity crime. That means, on average, an Australian is ripped off every 45 seconds. Identity crime involves use of fake or stolen identities and is a key enabler of organized crime and even terrorism. Don't make it easy for identity criminals. You can protect yourself by following some simple tips, such as securing your paper trail to protect your identity documents, mail, and other personal information. So, if you're disposing of personal mail or documents, rather than just tossing them in the bin like Guy here, you should completely destroy them by shredding them. Another simple way to protect yourself is to keep a lock on your mailbox or use a post office box and make sure you tell businesses and government agencies when you change your address. Oh dear, it looks like Guy is going to learn the hard way. Another way your identity can be stolen is if you provide personal information to scammers. This can happen online, over the phone, or in person. Scammers target people of all backgrounds, ages, and income levels. You really need to have your wits about you and learn to recognize the most common types of scams. It looks like Guy might be learning to spot a scam. In 2013, over 90,000 Australians reported scams to the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission. Unfortunately, nearly 14% of these consumers lost money to scammers. You need to remember that organizations such as banks or government departments, like the Australian Tax Office, will never send you an email asking for personal details or to log into your account because of a problem. Don't do it, Guy! Phew! Dodged another bullet! Well done, Guy! Most victims of identity crime lose less than $1,000, but losses can run to hundreds of thousands. Identity crime has non-financial impact too. One in 10 victims require counseling or other medical treatment, while more than one in 20 are falsely accused of a crime they did not commit. Hey, Guy, sounds like you've got a message. Hang on, Guy, are you really sure you want the whole world to know your full name, date of birth, and home address? I'm sure your friend means well, but this is another way how identity criminals can obtain and misuse your personal information. You should limit the amount of sensitive information you publicly post on social media sites and ask your friends not to share personal information about you either. Well done, Guy. It is much safer to be the smart guy than the popular guy. The actual cost of identity crime in Australia is unknown, as more than half of all victims do not report the incident, but it is estimated to be at least $1.6 billion per year. Even if you aren't a victim of identity crime, or you don't think you're at risk, there's a chance someone close to you might be. So share this video with your family and friends, and don't let them be the next guy to get caught out. For more information on protecting and recovering your identity, visit our website.